we're going to um, <laughs> go over some of this uh, state lottery stuff because it's sort of something we're all kind of familiar with. Um, and I'm sure we have all sorts of opinions on um, uh, whether or not it's a good idea or not. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's take a math, let's, let's look at this mathematically and let's see what this makes sense. Okay, so this is the, the um, Mega Millions, okay? So this is the Mega Millions prize, which actually in uh, November 2005 actually was uh, $175 million was the prize. I think it was split up between seven people, I believe. But, um, but it's the largest single ticket that has won, okay? Um, so in this state lottery, now the way this is chosen, five numbers chosen without repetition, right, from the numbers 1 through 56, okay? So you pick numbers 1 through 56, those little balls come out, that's 1 through 56. And then we pick an additional number, 1 through 46, okay? So this is a separate number entirely. If you can correctly pick all six numbers, right, then you win the jackpot. And in this case, we're going to say, we're going to calculate according to 175 million. That was a 2005 amount. Okay, a lot of money, all right? Um, and then we'll just say, uh, this is, uh, uh, these are actually um, uh, not entirely, <laughs> these part, this, this actually is true information, this is not. So we'll just say, just uh, for, for uh, ease of calculation, we'll say if we get five out of the six of them right, okay, so you didn't get this last number correct, then you win $1,000. We'll say four out of six, uh, I don't know, you win a $6 day pass on bus system, or maybe like a $6 gift certificate at your local fast food uh, joint. So anyway, but we'll say it's $6, $1,000, or $175 million, right? So that's um, a very high stakes lottery here. Okay, so the question is, let's calculate what the expected value of this $1 lottery ticket. Okay, so how are we gonna figure this out? All right, what we're gonna do is, is we're actually gonna use combinations. So I'm gonna actually incorporate a lot of the things that we've been learning here. So um, first is we, we want to figure out, um, we want to break this up, the expected value, right? The probability of it occurring times the payout, okay? So the probability times 175, probability times 1,000, probability times the $6. So let's do that. So what that becomes is, all right, the way we're going to figure that out, and this is uh, the main thing, this is as much a combination of problems as it is an expected value problem. If we have 1 through 56, that means the number of possible combinations are um, 56, right, and 5, right? And then there's an additional amount where we have 1 where there are 46, okay? If you want to get all six of them right, okay, there is only one combination that works, right? Six, choose six. Okay, that is the jackpot right there. Um, this, uh, I will tell you right now, comes out to, um, and we'll put this off to the side because we're going to use this number a few times. One over 175,711,816, which, uh, FYI, uh, let's see if uh, what we have down here is I believe that the, the there, I think USA Today said that there is a one out of 700,000 chance of getting hit by lightning. <laughs> so this is roughly your chance of winning this, uh, of hit, getting hit by lightning, is roughly 200 times more than your chance of winning actually this, this number, okay? So this is what it comes out to, and as a decimal, okay, I'm gonna move this down as a decimal, Right? And again, if you don't know how to calculate these, you should go back and visit uh, per um, permutation combinations. Okay? But we'll calculate this out in the interest of just saving time. I'm going to um, uh, write this out in entirety. And we have 1, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Zeros. And then we're going to multiply this by 175 mil, okay? And this equals, in this case, um, actually it comes out to about 0.996, I believe it is, yeah. It comes out to about 0.996. Okay, then we add to these smaller prizes, right? And that will simply be, um, say you only get five of them, right? Then that means you have a chance of, uh, what are the combinations of this, right? Of getting those five correct. 
And then, of course, you're going to have your additional, right? Because there are 50, 50 numbers left, right, of 1, right? And that, again, goes over that same amount here, that 175 million, right? Okay, so it's still over the same amount, but now we have, we're choosing the 5 out of 6, right, times the 50 possible combinations of having the wrong number, right? So this is the number, the right numbers times the combination of the wrong numbers, right? We'll get the number of possibilities that we have of this, right? And this, uh, we'll just, again, in the interest of time, we're going to actually calculate this all out. And then this we'd multiply by, um, I think this comes out to... Um, 0 0.000, uh, I think it's eight zeros, zero, 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 uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, and then that gets multiplied by a thousand, right? And so this gives us amount of point, uh, zero, 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 three, four, right? The reason why these are so small because I'm actually offering very little, right? And the last term would um, become C64, right? So this is the, these are the possible getting four of them right, and of course the remaining that are wrong, right? Right, so you have um, uh, the last 50, right? 50 to choose from are the wrong numbers, right? And there are two of them, right? And that is again over the same amount, 56, 5, right? 46, 1, okay? And this actually comes down to 0 .00017. And then if we add these all up, this becomes our expected value. And then we see that actually this, these actually don't have much of an effect, mainly because I picked such small numbers for these, all right? This is such a huge number. Obviously, this is the overwhelming factor. So it comes around roughly into 0 0.996, right? And then we're going to subtract the $1 for the ticket, okay? So this is what we expect to make back from from it. And so this gives us 0 0.004. Okay? So it goes slightly in the state's direction. Okay? It is more likely that the state will kind of make will make 0 0.004 on the dollar. Okay? Now that sounds like a very tiny amount, right? And it sounds like, oh, that sounds like a pretty good deal. The fact is it's slightly in the state's favor, but the number of people that are putting tickets, when they find out the amount of money that's available, and maybe they're even the people who actually sit down and make this calculation and realize, you know what, it's a pretty small amount, right? It's 0 .0004, but they have the thing is that's that you have to realize is that it's such a huge amount of money that's actually worth the state to make that kind of money. That's why they always have state lotteries because they make so much money on it, okay? And they don't need to have much of an expected value to go in their direction in order to make it, just because people are throwing in so much money. And you could argue that, okay, well, it's also because it's such a small amount. Uh, that's, you know, from, from the buyer's end, you could argue, okay, well, that's why it's really not that big because it's actually a pretty small amount to do. But the reality is the chances of actually getting anything out of that are uh, one out of 175 million, which, is, as I was saying, is um, 200 times less of a chance of actually walking outside and getting hit by lightning. So, so your chances aren't that good. Um, so, uh, but this gives you a sense of what the expected value is. So this, this is uh, an interesting way of really uh, seeing, you know, so it's actually fairly close to a fair game. However, the numbers are so huge that even with a small, very, you know, uh, uh, number that's very small, they still make a huge amount of money just because so many people are buying those lottery tickets because of these huge numbers, okay? So that's an expected value um, of a lottery, okay? And this, again, these numbers are accurate. These are not, but that gives you a rough idea of what kind of numbers we're talking about.